Hey everybody, welcome back. This is going to be a quick video. I want to talk about sliders. Uh, somebody in, I think it was Discord, Max Discord channel, posted about how to basically get a high resolution slider. And uh, I discovered kind of a cool way to do that that I had not really thought of prior. And so I figured I would share it all with you. So we'll start here with uh, just the humble, ordinary Max slider. And in its default state, it will produce integers between zero and 127, so 128 different values. And we can um, create a little bit of patching here that is going to basically tell us what the sort of delta is in between each separate number that the object outputs. So what I'm doing is basically just taking each number and subtracting it from the one that came before it. So we're getting a, you know, a difference. If we want to go really slowly, we get a difference of, of one there. Okay, and we can change the range of this slider so that instead of going from 0 to 128, maybe it goes from uh, 0 to, say, 5,000. So now we can go all the way to 5,000, but we're noticing that as we, even if I mouse really slowly, I can only make changes that are like 35, 36 at the, at the minimum. So if you had some parameter where you wanted way finer control, slider doesn't really help you, right? You just can't get that much resolution out of it. So a solution to that problem is to use this picked slider object, which is a kind of XY object. You can um, get it to only work on one dimension. So that's what we'll do. You don't have to, but we're going to in this case. So over here in the inspector, uh, we have these options, move horizontal and move vertical. I'm just going to say, ignore the horizontal so that we're only going vertical. And I'll make this a little narrower. Okay, and then we also have uh, this value at top, top value. So this is what we can, analogous to this size attribute of the slider. So this is kind of the range. So let's set it to 5,000. And then let's just copy this same stuff and do the same thing just in the default state for this picked control object. And this should be 5,000. 5,001 really. And also I need to actually use the right outlet. There we go. Cause that's for the Y axis position. There we go. So you can see we're already getting way finer control. And in fact, this object allows us to control sort of that resolution with this vertical tracking and horizontal tracking attributes. So if I control the vertical tracking and I say make this 10, now you can see that I have less resolution. So I'm moving at sort of a minimum of 10 values per kind of per increment. And if I want to go fast, I obviously can do that. Or I could go really slow. I could go down to 0.1. And it really takes a lot of effort. Like I'm having to move my mouse when I click and drag here, I'm having to move my mouse quite a bit to get it to change values. The one thing that the pick control object can't do is produce floats. So if you want floats, say I wanted, you know, floating point numbers here, I would have to kind of multiply this. So I, I could do, you know, zero to 50,000 and then divide by a hundred, right? And I could get, you know, floating point resolution. And that's pretty fine resolution because vertical tracking one at 50,000 is super, super, super fine. But right, I can, I can adjust that. So you can see, you know, it's pretty easy for you to get really nice fine resolution uh, using this method. Another thing that I discovered is that you can do kind of the opposite. You can have very low resolution, which in some situations is actually very valuable. Uh, when I did the Metropolis clone, uh, particularly the Max for Live version, I was noticing that the sliders for the uh, pulse counts and those kind of chunky eight-way, the really switches more than sliders, uh, like switches more than faders on the Metropolis, you really kind of want that resistance to the slider so that you don't change uh, things very quickly. You kind of want to force yourself, the user, to change values slowly. 
And these same settings can do that. So if we, if we make another one of these and we make the top value simply eight, so now we have eight options. I guess that's uh, perhaps nine options. Let's find out. Starts at zero. Oops, wrong outlet again. Starts at zero, goes to eight. So we really wanted to make the top value seven, so we have eight options. But anyway, and then I can change this vertical tracking to say maybe 0 0.2. And now it actually takes like effort. I need to move my mouse a long way to get these to move. And this can really have a noticeable impact on the, the experience of using your patch and change how you make music with it or make whatever you're making with it. So this is really valuable uh, piece of information. The last thing I want to show you is the a way in which we could actually have a single control with an adjustable uh, or sort of toggleable sensitivity based on some key modifier. So there's an object called modifiers. And I can send it the message interval 100. And that what that's what what the what that is going to get it to do is look for me to press modifier keys like shift and control and command. So if I send that message interval 100 and then I press the shift key, when I have the shift key held down, which I do currently, I get a one from this first outlet. Okay, and so now we can actually use that to uh, control the vertical tracking. So I could say, um, I can use zeal lookup and when I get a value of zero, perhaps I want um, high resolution. And if I have a value of one, so the shift key is held down, I have high resolution. And let's also just use a change object so that we never resend values that we don't need to resend just for uh, hygiene's sake. And then I patch that into the vertical tracking. So now if I don't hold down shift, I have very fine resolution, right? I can only move one at a time, and this thing moves quite slowly, even when I move the mouse a long distance. But if I hold down shift, I can move much more quickly. And you can really fine tune this however you want by just deciding what these two values are. You could even have, if you wanted, presumably another control that kind of controlled that weighting. All right, so that's it for today. Yeah, get into that one. Enjoy it. Let me know how you're using it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.